Telehealth has long held the promise of a real solution to some pressing problems in healthcare, something that actually patients like, delivers clinically proven outcomes and real financial benefits. And what the results of the whole system demonstrator uh, trial in the UK tell us is that actually these can be achieved. And that's great news because it reinforces the evidence that's come out of earlier, smaller pilots and evidence that's um, been gathered internationally and shows that actually the NHS is set to benefit from this. So much so that the government has said they want to make a difference to three million lives in the next five years. So if you think about it, three million lives in five years is an absolutely unprecedented scale, not just in the UK, but actually anywhere in the world. Simply servicing the patients that the whole system demonstrators supported won't get you to that sort of level, and it won't give you the sort of benefits that the healthcare system is, is really looking at. But I think from our experience in the UK and internationally, I should point out, that we think it's really important to get three things right. Uh, and the first thing is about choosing the right focus choosing the right patients to reach out to and, and typically these are going to be uh, patients who are at very high risk of admission to hospitals or, or similar and they provide an early return on investment and if you can actually set up your services and support those sort of people they become cash generating in their own right and you can use that then to start to drive the development of the services into new areas. So that's the first thing to get right, the focus on, on the patient benefits. So the second challenge is scale, and if we think about it, the experience over the last five years is a myriad of small pilots that have failed to take off because all too often they're too small, too isolated, and too easy to ignore. And so choosing scale is about choosing the right scale to drive change right across the organisation. So touch, for instance, whole populations of GPs, but not in a way that completely breaks the rest of the system as you drive that change. But scale locally is not going to work on its own. There's also a need for a whole system coherent approach. So think about the workforce challenge. Think about what this means to training and education and professional structures. And there are going to be, need to be some system-wide actions to deliver that scale as well. And the final challenge is about designing your service so you actually have a platform for real growth. So the sort of services that are being offered today aren't going to meet the needs of all the three million. And there are all sorts of technology possibilities coming out from emerging industries. So think about smartphones and smartphone applications, the potential of mobile health, the potential even of gaming technologies, engaging patients and driving real change. So you need to think when you set up your service, not just what you want to be doing in two years, but where you want to be in five or ten years time and ensure that you've actually built a platform that's capable of adapting and growing as you want to grow. Well at PA I think we've seen uh, growing interest from a number of different perspectives um, across our client base. So not only is the time right to move to scale in telehealth in, in healthcare, and of course that's interesting to a number of people who are providing specific telehealth services, but we're also seeing the potential that this will trigger change in a range of other industries. Industries like pharmaceuticals, like uh, mobile telecommunications, even utilities, as we move towards a, a much smarter and more connected world where healthcare is just one component of that connectivity.